Hey guys, it's Vicki, and there is another tag game going around. And I like this one because it's kind of more in-depth in getting to know you. So I saw this video from Keith, and I liked it, so I'm going to participate. And I hope that you guys participate as well. I like it. <laughs> The first question, it basically this, this tag game is, there's a list of questions. Right now, actually, Keith, I see 12 questions, including yours. Um, that's on the list that I copied. So I have these 12 questions, including Keith's. And oh, yeah, Keith, if you're watching this, you never answered your question that you put, and I'd actually like to hear what the answer is to that one. <laughs> but, um, so you have the 12 questions, but you end up adding one more question to the game. Or to the, yeah, you add your own question at the end. So, um, and answer the question that you, uh, I, I would like for you to answer your own question too. So here goes. The first question, number one, have you ever been in jail? No, I've never been in jail. I'm terrified to ever go to jail, so I try to do everything I can to not be in jail. Two, have you ever been brave enough to tell someone the truth knowing it would hurt them? Yes, and it's a very hard thing to do, but I did it. Number three, have you ever been in love? I have been in love twice. Not at the same time. Have you ever been in a fight? I have. Um, when I was younger, you know. I was in a fight in uh, middle school with a girl. I was actually told to start the fight with her and trying to be the cool kid. I did. Because the girl that was supposed to fight her would have gotten into all kinds of trouble. <laughs> Um, and I got into a fight uh, with a guy once. Physical fist fight. Uh, number five. Have you ever accomplished <clears throat> have you ever accomplished something you thought was so hard you never thought you would have and what was it? Well, I to me it was hard <clears throat> and it took many, many years to finally do. So I would think that this was a huge accomplishment, and that was getting my GED, and I got it about this time last year. <clears throat> and I've always, and I'm 37 years old, and for many, 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 many years, I would always say I was going to get it, and I never did, and I finally did when I told my son, who's 18 now, when I try to get him to get his, I found it only fair that if I was going to make him get his, that I should go ahead and get mine as well. And he got, he passed his and got his in January of last year, and I got mine in February of last year. So that was a huge accomplishment, and I'm very proud of myself for that. Uh, have you ever been told you are fat and to just move on? No, I don't think anybody really was, uh, like number two, brave enough to tell me that I was fat. I think that, um, you know, people close to me might have voiced their concern about me gaining a little bit of weight, but never flat out told me that I was fat. And looking back at my before pictures and my early first videos, I must say, I was a lot fatter than I thought I was. My, my mental image of myself, never, ever did I think I was as big as I was, ever. So I'm glad I'm not there anymore. Have you, number seven, have you ever shoplifted? I did. Yes. <laughs> My daughter is listening to me. <laughs> yes, 
I was probably about nine or so. The girl, the big thing going around school were stickers and sticker albums. That was the thing. You were cool if you had them, and the girls would bring them to school and show all the other kids all the stickers that they had in their sticker albums. I had none, and I didn't have any money, and my parents wouldn't buy me any. So I went to the drugstore, which is walking distance to my house, and I stuffed a few... <laughs> Stuffed a few sticker books and sticker packs of stickers in my coat, and I walked out the door. And this undercover cop named Don Johnson <laughs> stopped me, and uh, so I got caught. And when I got home, I told my mother that this girl, Michelle, made me do it. And... Uh, so my mother had called Michelle over. Now, poor Michelle knows nothing about what in the world is going on. So I tried to stop her before she gets in the house, and I told her, I said, Michelle, this is what's going on. This is what I did, and I told my mother that you made me do it. Now, you need to go along with this, or I'm going to beat you up. Well, my mother heard me tell Michelle that I was going to beat her up. And she heard the whole conversation. So I was in so much trouble, and I've never stole again. <laughs> uh, number eight. Have you ever... Okay. This is kind of the same as number three. Have you ever been in love with two people at the same time? Okay. Number three was, have you ever been in love? Okay. I was in love with two people, but not at the same time. So, there's that one. Number nine, wish you could be a stripper if you had a hot body. I hope you heard that because my daughter's right there. Um, I might have thought about it once or twice, but I think that if I had the hot body, even though I've thought about it once or twice, I probably actually would never bring myself to do that because I'd be too scared. Number 10. Had an obsession that was so hard to give up and got out of control. Had an obsession that was so hard to give up and got out of control. Nothing that I can really think of on that one. So, no. I don't think so. If I have, and I remember, I'll get back to you on that one. Number 11. Have you ever gone through a drive through and ordered a huge amount of food, pretended it was for more people, and then drove around the corner and gorged yourself on it? Nope. I've not done that at a drive through But I've always been a candy and sweets kind of girl. So I would do that at the grocery store when I would bring pies and candy and ice cream and cookies and, um, and had it all rung up. So I, I would do that checking out with all my sweets and goodies. And I don't really do that anymore. And this is Keith's question. Currently... Have you currently have or have had a crush on one of your subscribers or someone that you are subscribed to? Yes. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> and my question is, how do you feel when you go to a group event and, and barely know anyone? The reason why I ask this is because the last meet and greet in Atlantic City, it was so hard to comprehend that some people were really nervous about going there when I thought that they would never be nervous about going there. And so, you know, in my mind, I'm like, wow, they're just like me. They're nervous and uh, shy, and that's how I am I, that's how I am. And it was actually kind of comforting to know that 
a lot of people felt the same way that I did. Although I really got over it soon after I started meeting everybody because I started to feel extremely comfortable with these people who are now my friends and, and family, I consider. So, anyway, that's that tag game. And I tag um, anybody that's watching this. I think this one is fun and um, you really kind of get to know somebody a little bit more. So hope you participate. Bye for now.